Good afternoon, Professor Josutun, President of Myanmar Jain Liberal Society, professors, and my dear colleagues. I'm really glad that this topic has been chosen by the ZIFAM for as a CME program for this afternoon because this NFLD Nash has become more and more popular. And also, I would like to thank Professor Chosodun and uh, Madhiri for your compliments for about my movie. And I would like to briefly overview the NFLD, the definition, prevalence, incidence, risk factors, natural history, and the future of our hepatologists. It has increased the liver cancer as well as colorectal cancer. The forms of NASH NFLD is uh, as primary, that's NFLD NASH associated with the metabolic syndrome. Secondary means like uh, tamoxifen and HIV drugs, hypothyroidism, these are the secondary NFLD. Also, there are very similar definitions. NASH, non alcoholic steatohepatitis, ASH, alcoholic steatohepatitis. Both alcohol and non-alcoholic hepatitis, BASH, and uh, drug-induced hepatitis, DASH, and chemotherapy-associated steatohepatitis, CASH, and the PNLB3-associated steatohepatitis, BASH. These are the changing nomenclature of different types of uh, cetosis of the liver. As usual, it will be elaborated by our esteemed speakers, in the later part of this symposium, nephrodi is uh, based upon the metabolic syndrome. If you look at the risk factors, hyperglycemia or diabetes, obese subjects, 36 to 78 percent. Patients with hyperglycemia or diabetes, 43 to 62 percent. Patients with hyperlipidemia, 45 to 60 percent. With hypertension, 35 to 45 percent with metabolic uh, syndrome with ACV infection, 55%. The consuming artificial fructose in the diet and not consuming coffee, that's the biggest problem for the, uh, those patients who tend to have uh, NFLD. This is pathophysiological model for the NASH development. Metabolism, insulin resistance, cell stress, apoptosis, inflammation, fibrogenic remodeling, leading to cirrhosis of the liver. This is a simplification of the pathophysiological model for the nephilim. Nef Eating habits. You know, I'm sure. That's what I have been, my lifestyle, that's been going on for the last 10 years. Breakfast color sadi mishu, lunch color sadi mishu, nyao to masa, era asuzome. The daily calories in the morning decrease the odds of status by 14 to 21 percent. Conversely, the odds of status were 20 percent greater when morning and midday meals are skipped. Eating breakfast and lunch and avoiding late night meals reduce the risk of nephaldi. And how do we measure the prevalence? Liver biopsy, postmodern studies, cryptogenic cirrhosis, surrogate alteration, LFT, and indices. The grading of the uh, fatty liver in the ultrasound. By the way, if anybody interested to have this presentation, you can uh, take it from ZFAM. The global prevalence, 25.24%.
I mean, it's a rising incidence in every part of the world. With the increasing age, higher in males versus female, it's the higher in Caucasian and Hispanic, increased trends in time. Seafarm, caring for well-being.